What's up, everyone? James Lynch here doing a quick reaction video to the news that UFC middleweight Uriah Hall has announced his retirement. Put something up here on Instagram. I'm not going to read the entire thing here, but he says it's with great sadness that I will be stepping away from the greatest sport in the world. I'm going to miss the incredible UFC staff I've met along the way. The UFC has given me the best opportunity to step completely outside my comfort zone etc. Um, interesting career, probably one of the most interesting careers in the UFC. Um, Uriah Hall, of course, uh, was dubbed the next Anderson Silva by Dana White. Uh, if you guys remember, we're going way back here. This was when he was on season 17 of The Ultimate Fighter, uh, when he knocked out Adam Sella. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that knockout, by the way, go Google it. It's one of the best knockouts uh, in MMA history, I think. That spinning uh, hook kick where he knocked him out. And um, yeah, just a really, really interesting career. I had the opportunity to speak to Uriah a few times throughout my career. Um, you know, he's been a little bit prickly with the media sometimes. You can find some clips on there, um, but uh, you know he was great the last time I spoke to him. He actually gave me a really good interview, really honest uh, guy, and I think maybe a bit under misunderstood sometimes, but uh, just a really interesting career. So, uh, of course, a lot of people felt like he was going to win the Ultimate Fighter Season 17. He loses a split decision to Calvin Gaslam, who would end up being one of his good friends uh, later on. They ended up training together, too. So, uh, interesting career there. Then he had the split decision loss to John Howard um, after that. So, it's kind of like, you know, is this, is this guy turning out to be a bit of a bust? And then he went on a nice run. He got a win over Thiago Santos uh, there. And then the fight that absolutely broke my heart, if you guys know how big of a Gegard Mousasi fan I was, him knocking out Mousasi was extremely shocking at the time. Um, and, uh, you know, was the, I believe it was the first stoppage loss that Mousasi had had in the UFC. So uh, that was nuts. I, I thought he was destined for big things. And then look at this litter of uh, opponents he had to fight after that. It was Robert Whitaker losing there. That was a key fight uh, in that matchup. And then uh, Derek Brunson uh, got knocked out in that fight. Um, and then fought Mousasi again and got finished. Uh, had some success, defeated Christoph Yako, then lost to Costa, and then went on a nice win streak here. Uh, Bavon Lewis, Antonio Carlos Jr., Anderson Silva. But the last two fights, I, I think, have kind of shown that he's just not on that level of being a contender. And I think he's making the right decision here. Usually, uh, when it comes to MMA retirements, there's usually too late instead of too early. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think at 38 years old, if you're two, two losses in a row, that's a big setback. It's not like he's going to go to 170. It's not like he's going to go to 205 anytime soon here. It's not like he would be uh, you know, good for that weight class. I think this is the right decision here. So all the best to Uriah Hall going forward. Um, again, I'm going to leave a clip in the description of uh, one of our interviews that we had, uh, just where uh, he had to do the virtual media day. This was a couple of years ago, and uh, he was kind of freaking out because he didn't know uh, kind of how it worked. Like people were talking to him, but he couldn't see them. Anyways, you got to see the clip. I'm going to post it in the description here. But uh, happy trails to Uriah Hall, 17 and 11 record. One thing I'll give him credit for is he fought a lot of good opponents here. Like I mentioned, Costa, Musasi twice, Brunson, Whitaker. Um, yeah, just a really interesting career there. Uh, as well. So uh, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you remember Uriah Hall for the most? Uh, again, I think most people will remember him getting that knockout on the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Lynch on Sports. Also, if you can hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, that helps me out big time. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.